Hi, I'm Silvio and this is part 3 of how to build the motorized camera slider with the pan and tilt features full tutorial. And this will also be the last part of the tutorial, entirely dedicated to the brain that makes everything work, to the electronics, but please don't be scared, I will try to be as simple as possible with all the components I use, the PCB, and especially why I choose that solution. And that you will not need to learn any coding, any programming language. I will give you everything, trying to explain how the program works. And by the way, guys, the PS4 controller now works. I finished the uh, code also for the PS4 controller, blue as it is uh, in uh, action right now, or, and it really works. Stop, then pan and tilt. I've said not the fastest possible, but let me go with the fast. And now it is fast, uh, then I will go once again and go ahead. Okay, it works. But first, let me do something I forgot to do last uh, with last part. Uh, I forgot to tell you how to connect multiple VSLOT together, 2080 VSLOT together to go over. 1.5 meters I have actually here that is good if you have a layout from 0 to 1.5 meters and uh, otherwise you will not be able to film to shoot anything uh, from this angle here because you will interfere getting um, ahead with all the buildings and everything you have here but if you connect two or more mm, of these uh, V-slot together you can place some tripod uh, for, um, left hand side of the layout and this way you can uh, go inside, deeply inside your layout while filming very easy to do with this V-slot and I will start right now with that Please don't be scared by electronics. Well, let's try to double the length of the slider here by joining together to 2080 in this slot. How will I proceed? First, I will need to detach uh, the foot here. And here I've added, this is common, uh, a bolt or a screw like that, that will prevent the foot to slide uh, itself along the V-slot, okay? I need to open the belt lock, remove the belt like that, and then slide it away. How I managed to, to get uh, this little guy here block inside the piece lot there with this nut here guys this is especially made for this lot it has a little sphere with some spring in, under it and you simply need to slide it into the this lot like that okay and then you have an M5 uh, threaded hole there and you simply need to go there like that. Try to find the M thread, M5 threaded hole through here, the hole uh, on the foot and then screw in the, the bolt there. Okay, simply as, as, as everything. And now I will remove the bow, the, 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 the nut, the Vizlat nut, and then I will try not to break anything and go flat if possible. Like 
like that. Oh, you still see everything there. Yes. Now, the secret is using those connectors here. They have the same shape, the same section, and I can show you once again as the V slot nut there. Okay, those are intended to slide inside of V slot like that, and they also have four and five threaded holes. Okay, there. When I slide this in, and obviously I will not slide them, uh, sorry, not this one, not here, in top, even if it, if it would be the simplest way possible, one on the top and one on the bottom, because here you have the wheels of the sliders that uh, roll inside the slot there. But then, I can use the side here like that. Oops. I can go like that. Okay? Like that. I will use two of them from this side and two from the other side. Like that. Then I will get the prolongation and slide the other half in the same this slot trying to get everything well together what will I use to fix the system together some normal screw or normal bolts no because this the two connectors here, the two giant connectors, are inside the slot, the V slot, and they don't protrude, so they don't make any uh, thickness, preventing the slider that will come this way to be stuck on some screw head. Okay, I will use some grub grub screw. G R E B screws. Those are screws, and I've already shown you some example without a head. So they have a hole inside that can be used, that can be tooled by a null and key like that, inside like that and you can screw or not screw it. Uh, and I will do the exact same thing. I will use some M5, five millimeters long, grab screw. Okay, and it is done like that. Now let me test it. I simply need to get some more of the belt. That's why I am always walking around with some too long belt. 
Okay, let me switch to the other camera to let you see. Okay, here I have the junction, the connection between the two aluminum of this lot. Obviously, uh, I still have a minimum of uh, groove between them, but it doesn't prevent the system to work correctly. From this side, we can go here and you will see that I have reassembled everything, the foot, and I've also blocked here with the lock mechanism the belt. And from the other side, let's go from the other side. And from this side, you see that I have the same thing on a tripod, the lock, the mechanism, and the camera mount. Let me switch on the camera, the system, red, so it's connected. I will get the PS4 because right now I have programmed it. Let me uh, switch it on like that. It will stop blinking. It is ready. And now let's hope it works. Yes, it works and is light and it get and it will pass the middle section and go towards the other side. Okay, and then once again, it will get there and pass through. Everything. And this will allow you to shoot some elevated uh, le <laughs> some higher levels, sorry. The higher levels, you will be able to shoot the higher levels. And also you can invert this if it's not possible to shoot. In this case, you simply need to uh, reverse that towards the downside there. And it, you will have the camera here protruding from the downside and get even closer to the figurines. Enough, it works. Let's get uh, uh, to the electronics. Electronics that scaring a word. Before getting into action, let me recap for a moment. I knew I needed a new slider to shoot to film my uh, village with particular point of view, so I knew also that I needed uh, a slider with pan and tilt features. Then I knew that uh, many other people have faced the same problem and have found some solution. Yes, I got inspired from them as I already told you. But as concerning the brain, I didn't like what others have done before, so I went uh, with a personal reasoning, a personal way of uh, facing the problem, starting as right now from a blank white page like that. Uh, I knew I wanted a slider, yes, slider. I knew that I wanted a slider, yes, I needed a slider, so slide pan and a tilt. Three different movements, three different motors. Okay, what kind of motors? Stepper motors are the common used, the, are commonly used in this work, so stepper motors. The same used with 3D printer. 3D printers, so let's not talk about the dimension for right now right now about for the uh, stepper motors. Okay? So this is what the brain should have controlled three motors. Good. I knew that it is possible using something called Arduino. 
Arduino is it comes in different shapes. <coughs> this is a nano, Arduino nano. It has a variety of pins to the side there. Let me approach the camera a little more. There are several pins. That means uh, having some pins there doing something. Okay, very simple. This is a nano, then I, uh, there are micro. Let me take a micro. Okay, this one is a micro. A little bigger, but this one has already the pins, has already all the pins to be inserted, already connected. The nano should be assembled, the pins or the legs there okay so same pins same number of pins a little bigger the micro little uh, little the uh, the nano okay i have an arduino the arduino can control the motors yes it is a microcontroller it is called a micro or micro controller it is some sort of a computer, but empty. You need to program it through this USB port here. This is a mini USB, I think. Yes, this is mini USB. So you need to connect it, the micro or the mini. No, the mic, the mini. The, mm, the nano has a mini USB connection, the micro has a mini, okay, mini, micro, anyway, a USB connection to the PC, and then you use something called Arduino IDE, IDE, that is a freeware, to program it. So you need to know a little of coding. Yes. You need to need you need to know a little of coding. I don't I will not ask you to learn some coding. I will provide it as I um, done myself. Uh, I did it and finally yesterday I completed the PS4 version of the coding. Sorry, I have all full and writing. Arduino, Arduino either. So, uh, <coughs> a freeware to program it. You type your code, you fill the code into the Arduino, and then you connect the stepper motors to the pins to the Arduino. Obviously, yes, it can work. But the voltage, the electricity, the stepper motors work at 12 volts. Arduino can support 12 volts, yes, and it can be used in input 12 volts, output, whatever you need, because it controls everything. So, until now I knew I had three motors, three stepper motors, three motors, One Arduino, then some power source. Okay, let's go with 12 volts. Possible? Yes. If I bring the 12 volts to the system, it can also bring the 12 volts to the motors. Good. Uh, I can uh, bring directly the voltage, the correct voltage to the motors or not. Okay. Good. Now, what else? Uh, on myself. Okay. That's the minimum to work. Then I will add some other components, obviously, but this is good. So three motors and I'm doing a 12 volt, it can control a mod, uh, the system 
the pan slider still with uh, a power of 12 volts. Yes, it can work. Then, then I needed to control it. How will I control it? Uh, analogic with analog switch as my previous slider, yes possible. But if I want to get modern, I will use some controllers, some gamepad like PS4 or PS3. Yes, controller or gamepad. How does it work? Connected with the wire, obviously with the USB to the PlayStation, yes, if you want to, but also wireless, through Bluetooth, so it has Bluetooth. Oops, problem, Arduino, Nano, Micro, Arduino One, they don't have Bluetooth integrated. They cannot, and not even Wi-Fi. So, I'm blocked there. I can control with Arduino. Very simple, I already done in the past with my previous uh, slider. But now, Bluetooth, no Bluetooth. Stop there. May I use something else, or may I add something to my Arduino? Yes, in fact they, there are Bluetooth modules that can be connected to the Arduino. I, if I'm remembering correctly, uh, yes, towards the left they control also the uh, Bluetooth. So a module, so I will need the Arduino and then an extra model. So Arduino needed to be coupled with a Bluetooth module. Another little circuit board like this one, maybe a little long, uh, bigger, a little bigger, yes, that needs to be connected to the Arduino to control, to send the Bluetooth Proof. Yes, two things together. It can work, but it's not elegant, and that's the majority of the version I've seen online use this solution. There, I don't. I didn't like that. Do I have another way? Yes. Thinking about it, my answer is yes. Do it exist something, some electronic component that has the same ability of the Arduino to control the system plus Bluetooth integrated, yes, it is an ESP32 microcontroller, a little more powerful than an Arduino with bigger uh, memory, so it can store much more program than the Arduino, and it has Bluetooth and Wi-Fi incorporated, integrated inside. So, Eureka, an ESP32, another microcontroller, the same, uh, almost the same family, so almost the same programming needed, more pins, okay, so more options, each pin means, means more options, there is a pin needed for 
input voltage and other for output voltage. <coughs> Good. Let me try to focus on the ESP32. Good. It can work. Can it control three stepper motors? Yes. Can uh, it, it be used uh, in combination with uh, gamepad? Yes. Does it work correctly? Yes, the system can work. But an ESP32 don't work at 12 volts. Too higher voltage for the ESP32. I needed I needed something different. Not the ESP32. I, I was go all in with the ESP32, but then I needed something to lower the voltage. To lower the voltage, easily done. This is 5 to 10 bucks, 5 to 10 USD, 5 to 10 euros. Yes, good. 12 volts. Yes, the motors, I will uh, um, power directly the motors with 12 volts, but the brain needs 5 volts. So, bloof, this is a converter, this is a, a stepper down, it is marked there, let me approach the camera, mm -hmm. like that, it is with the big arrow there, in from this side, out from this side, input plus, no, sorry, no, uh, input negative, input positive, output positive, output negative, okay? So, you can get in with whatever voltage you want, it is a multi-voltage, and then with the simply a trimmer here, a potentiometer that it is here, there in the corner with a little screw, you can regulate the voltage that it will output. Good! I can uh, step her down or converter or voltage converter. So with this tool I can get the AC adapter to bring 12 volts towards the system and the uh, motors and with this tool here that is 30 cents, euro cents or USD cheaper, very cheap, cheap, cheap uh, you get uh, um, boxes of 5 to 10 of them for uh, 2, 2 USD, 2, 2 euros very cheap. Get in 12 volt to the system, get out 5 volt to the ESP32 to control everything and to make the, the system work. <coughs> Is it possible at this point I was not only all in but I was all in plus 100,000% into it. Obviously, one big problem will be the code. And I spent one week coding everything. But I will explain that lately with all the problems I've faced, especially uh, because no one um, thought about a little problem, but let's get there. Um, how will I control the motors? I needed something to drive the motors, because it's not just the info that gets here and then get out and then if they need to be translated, interpreted, what the, mm, the brain here, the ESP32 will have inside 
all the functioning, all the uh, input line, all the instructions to make the system work. But then the instruction needed to be learned, need to be understood in order to give the info to the motor, go one step ahead, one step uh, clockwise, one step counterclockwise, go uh, faster, go slower. You will need some stepper motor driver, as the name suggests it, and they come in boxes like that. I still don't have, and they come in like that with five of them, some dissipator to, to get like that on top of it because this will get extremely hot, the stepper drivers and they are, they, there are many types of stepper motors this one is a TMC 2209. By the way, I generally do the uh, uh, the zero with this inside to not uh, misinterpret it as a no. This is a zero, a 2209 system. They are absolutely silent. TMC 2209. Uh, yes, TMC 2209 as. Uh, Printed also in here, yes, 2209, TMC 2209. And silent stepper, stepper drivers for uh, stepper motors. This is the interpreter of the code that will get out from the brain. <coughs> Three of them good three of them okay it is possible uh, you mm, obviously yes so one for each motor and then uh, it's all no I needed to bring the stability to the system so I will need some capacitor, one for each motor. A capacitor is like this one, this is a 100 microfarad, 100 microfarad, or nowadays, <laughs> if you want to buy them, you need to write 100 and F. But it's wrong, micro, the symbol of the micro is the mu, the Greek letter mu, so micro, down and like that, micro farad. But obviously you don't have a keyword with Greek characters, so if you want to buy them, micro farad. Very cheap component. What is a capacitor? The capacitor is something that will store inside it some electricity and will use part of them to power the motors through the uh, stepper. When you switch on a circuit it can be frustrating to have the current or the electricity getting yeah, a little there, then no, then yes, then no, with the flux. This one will be a container of electricity that will charge, discharge, charge, discharge, but not completely. Once it starts discharging, it will um, start recharging. So that this will bring stability to the system, and instead of doing it, 
that with the motors it will go like that linear so the motor can get constantly electricity easily easily explain it's a little more complicated but let's say it is the a capacitor so three capacitor one for each stepper motor then <coughs> as the adapter obviously but yeah, the uh, obviously yes um, this system is intended to work with some whole system with some whole effect okay uh, the whole sensor is like this one it is similar to a transistor okay but it's a, a null effect sensor so it can sense magnets it can sense uh, magnetics fields magnetic fields and it, it is used as i explained to find the zero point of the pan slide and tilt so the zero point in degrees of the uh, home point the slide pan and tilt can have a known point starting from that you know that this is zero point and you start moving for the slider or you start rotate for the slide for the pan and tilt so everyone uses this why not integrating them but i also explain to you that i will never use them because i don't need them uh, the way i programmed the system the way i programmed the system it was also a way to avoid the carriage banging to into the um, into the fit or the pan no, the, the pan and the tilt to get too close to the brain and the bank also into the bank uh, the, the brain system so in the be beginning i used them so yes three or sensor maybe and they are marked h a l l sensors <clears throat> but I will not use them but uh, it can be useful to integrate them as I explained you while I was building the system and you have seen me integrating um, two two times some neodymium magnets for the, the pan and tilt because I don't know maybe one day I will modify the coding and I will need some whole sensors but right now you can also decide I will put them between parentheses like that they are not mandatory not mandatory okay <coughs> then obviously some uh, connectors like those one to connect the the motors to the system okay but this is connected and the whole if the whole sensor need some resistors okay some resistors they are very sensible those are 10 kilo ohms resistors uh, one for each whole sensor simply because uh, 12 or 5 or the intensity is and uh, um, the voltage is too intense so in, they need to be reduced that they work with very low voltage so in, in instead of bringing um, another voltage 12 and 5 are already too much instead of using another source let's use some resistors like that and then and then I was okay guys I had everything uh, it wasn't my concern at this point the programming it will come 
it will be a matter of when I could have tested everything. Okay, I could have tested everything. I needed to build this system. So, let me check the camera. I needed a way to test this. So, I needed a prototype, guys. This is the prototype with this mess here. With this mess here. Set six to, if I remember, six to eight hours of work simply to do all those connections with different colors, with different wire colors, getting mad to test if the prototype would have worked. Then, each, once completed, <laughs> I had to wait one week before my code was completed for PS3, because it, it is the simplest one, to test it. I will come to the prototype in just some seconds. <coughs> once I had this in mind, I went uh, to easy. EDA. It's a free platform where you can prototype online. Is EDA platform? Yes, but also you can download a free version of the software if you want. But I usually I use it online, and I, with this platform here, you can share also your design with others. Okay. With Easy EDA, I've inserted all the components together and then I've Easy EDA test if it would have worked. Easy EDA get me to this point here. Okay, I hope you can see. Mm -hmm. Here I have the TMC, the, the ESP32, the resistors I've just told you, the connectors for the old sensors, the three stepper drivers for the motors, the three capacitors here, then the three connectors to connect the motors, then the ground, the 5 volt, and the 12 volt. With all the connections to the pins, I decided where to place the pins. I will not get into the system, but the main component is the ESP32 you have here. It has 38 pins from 1 to 19 and the other way 38. Easy, I couldn't find on Easy EDA a TMC2209 stepper uh, driver, also I use the TMC2208, it is his brother, uh, less uh, a, li <laughs> a version uh, less than TMC2209, but with the exact same pins connected. Then I connected everything, and these connections, so <coughs> from this side, from the right side of the stepper drivers, I've connected the motors. The left side is connected to the brain. And the, the left side of the ESP32 is connected to the old sensor that I will not use right now. But you don't know. Let's get them in place for the future, 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 sorry. So from this side, I just have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And they are symmetrical. So if I use pin 1, 2, 3 there and 7 and 8, I will use the same pins for the three motors. Because they need the same kind of input for uh, 
clockwise, counterclockwise, and the number of um, steps they need to take. The capacitors are connected to the same to the same uh, position for each and single of the ones to the pin 9 and 10, 9 and 10, 9 and 10. The capacitor is connected to the 12 volt here, 12 volt here, 12 volt here, and so the system is connected also to 5 volt with these pins here. Each time you have a little circle, this means that this wire here is connected to this wire here. Where you don't have the, the little green dots there, it means that you don't have connection between the wires. So the connection are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 or 90. Okay, it's not important right now. Then four pins because a stepper motor, a stepper motor has four pins to work. They are two couplings, uh, two spiral, and so plus and minus and plus and minus one from for each motor. Then the ground and no pins at all connected. So not all the pins are connected. Once the system told me it could work, I went for the prototype using the same placement. So, and easy idea, each time you have 12 volts here and you have uh, the system getting 12 volts inside and each time you have a 5 volts here you have 5 volts here you have 5 volts and here you have 5 volts that means that this point is connected to this point that is connected to this point and where you have the ground like that this point is connected to this point because you have ground and it is also connected to this point that's the difficulty of the, the, the wiring there uh, especially because you need to work upside down, so the pins are inverted when you work from the downside. <coughs> Left is right and vice versa. But with this, I started with the brain there, and then one by one, I connected all the wires to the system six to eight hours of work to get in here. No, I simply started from one side there and then go there and then the next one, then the next one, then the next one. And once all the connection between the left side of the ESP32 and the left and the, the right side of the ESP32 and the left side of the stepper motors were done, I went with the three connection points and then connected the 20 to the negative. Once this section was wired, I went for the right side of the stepper drivers, connecting the stepper drivers to the capacitors and then connecting the pins of the stepper drivers to the connectors. Those are the four, the four pins connectors, those one, they are similar, okay? It is a connector with four pins. The other side, for the other sensor, it is a, a three-pin connector like that. Almost the same dim dimension as you can see. Even for the stepper driver, it is a little bigger, but the other are similar, okay? Once the this side was completed, I took in consideration the left side of the, the brain of the ESP32. That's all. It's simply a matter of following it. Obviously, I don't have uh, 90 degrees here 
per the um, corner <laughs> but I have this mess here that's why I use it as some um, different colors and the red wire is the plus 12 volt the black is the ground so here you have in like that plus minus plus 12 volt minus so then from the other side I went all the plus there plus 12 volt I have one here plus 12 volt and then and then nothing else okay guys it it is the 5 volts then the 5 volts come out from this side here because this is in and this is out so here you have the 5 volts here connecting so this is the 12 volt and the blue one are the 5 volts getting outside the red 12 ground or negative and then the blue is all the 5 volts that go towards everywhere I have a 5 volts that is all obviously this needed to be removable like that so the ESP ah, and, uh, and the 3 uh, resistors are there and the capacitors are hided under the stepper drivers because otherwise this will would have been much more bigger and I needed a solution to get inside the main circle inside the main pan circle you have the where you have the cage and those little fit there those little connectors uh, are very useful to not damage permanently the ESP32 especially or, or any other components especially because they are not the cheapest one this one yes so I condemn, condemned it by uh, soldering it directly to the to the uh, PCB. This is a general PCB. It is a thousand, um, not a thousand. It is uh, they present like that in reality. So nothing is marked, but you can use them to prototype whatever you want. But I don't, didn't want to condemn the. Um, the privacy components so I went with this system here to use some uh, some foot some elevating foot like that in order especially because these need to be removed to be programmed okay and once and the separate drivers are sometimes they, they broke because they are something that will hit and normally so you need to change them you simply remove them until now, until 2019, I only um, burn because you, see, you need to say burn one step motor for the old, uh, one step motor driver for the old system. So I tend to be cautious in this matter. So this needs to be soldered into the PCB like that. And that was the brain that would have made everything possible with a dimension of 6.5 centimeters by 8 centimeters here you have the connections for the stepper motor drive for the stepper motors the four pin here you have the connection for the uh, three pins uh, hole sensor and then I use it as simply two pin uh, power connector that is used in this case. It's very cheap, or I think five cents each. Those are they come in boxes of 300 pieces for no more than 10 euros or 10 USD, but I have plenty of them. Then uh, a simple uh, 5 by 5 5.5 by 2.1 uh, female connector to get a plus and minus inside the prototype worked but obviously I will not ask you to go there impossible you need to use some 38 WG wires 
this one is 24 but it is the only one I use it so big the, the others are uh, 30 uh, AWG wires very tiny these are those are side silicon wires very flexible they will not burn etc <laughs> this is a hell guys easy EDA can export your design in something called a gerber file oops a gerber or gerber file what is a gerber file it will sum up everything and uh, uh, everything not the components but also the component if you want and it will use it by companies that make you personalized PCB boards this little thing here exporting my drawing my design to Gerber then sending it to JLC uh, and this is not a sponsored guys to a company that works worldwide such as JLC PCB transform your Gerber file into this little thing here guys little thing here obviously <laughs> You can put also your name in it, on it, like I did here. Let me approach the camera. <clears throat> this is the PCB. Almost the same dimension of this one, okay, of my prototype. With all the components, I will need the three motor connectors the three stepper motor drivers, the, my, uh, the ESP32 here, the, the stepper down for the voltage, the in and out for the, uh, for the uh, power, and then the three connectors for the uh, hull sensor. And from the other side, nothing. But I don't know if you can see, but there, there are some little lines there that are inside the PCB, in the middle of the PCB. All the wiring is already done. I simply need to put the components, obviously not directly like that, like that, and nothing else. I simply needed to solder everything. But the connections, all this mess here, is already done by the company. It has transformed this, obviously compacting it, into something like that. You simply need to tell the dimension you want of the PCB, and the system will compact everything, and you will have it like that. And obviously this, in, this is in and out. They will have the same exact dimension needed for every component except this one because it, it, it needs some, uh, uh, some, uh, uh, some uh, foot there in order to get connected because it has, uh, it has also those two pins from this side that once elevated, uh, it will, they will disappear. And also the the um, the capacitors you simply need to push them inside the holes like that and you will have to do is just those soldering very simple very one after the other one after the other one after the other and nothing else guys <coughs> obviously i will give you the careful files for my PCB, like that. Expensive? No. Five of those PCB, two dollars, two euros, plus shipping, obviously. 
they work worldwide, they are obviously, it is mainly a Chinese company, but they also have factories all over Europe, for the ones who doesn't like to buy something from China, but I will just remember you that even your iPhone for, uh, that are so common in all the US are produced in China. No. So three days I upload on the server of JLCPCB my Jabba file verified that it, is, that it was doable. And generally you get a PCB, green PCB is like that one. I choose to go with a black one. It is, it is more uh, bad guy, okay? A black PCB. And then three days to make them, two days to ship and receive them. In five days, I had five PCB like this one. Five PCB. They come inside some uh, protector and they even give you some stickers like this one, uh, obviously. Uh, and no customs to pay because in the shipping fees you also pay for the custom fees. Okay, so you will receive it directly to DHL because they use DHL worldwide. Five days from the moment you uploaded the Java files to receive it. Even something more. It all depends where it will be sent out from. But I went with the main uh, factory in China and in five days I got them like that. They are 1.6 millimeters thick and this will avoid you, me, to have to repeat all this mess there. But I had to do it because otherwise uh, I've risked to receive a PCB not working. So this is my PCB. I will share everything, guys. But for the ones who think this is a hell, yes, you need to be at least at, well, at least some skill because they are very little to to solder. But once you have done a prototype, that risk to get ruined because it just need one of those wires to get stick to something and then you pull it and you will mm, broke everything <laughs> not working but this is absolutely fantastic system mm -hmm. and all the wires they are from this side here the wiring uh, in the middle and also from this other side here in the middle <coughs> that's all guys let me show you how to assemble this with all the components, then uh, I will talk about the programming. I will give you the program. I will not talk about how to get it done. But for now, let's assemble this with all the components that I just told you I will be using. Okay, obviously I will not use those one, I will reuse the ones used for the uh, for the the test, the prototype, exception for the little component here for the uh, stepper down for the converter because it is it, it is commandant. Uh, and I will need some tools. Let me have a little pause, let me clean mm -hmm. and then let's go. Okay, the PCB there, with my little name on top of it, and the soldering station. It is very important to go as clean as possible, so let me just replace the tip there with a new one. Let 
let me switch on the system. I will go with 370 uh, degrees Celsius. Okay, and I will use obviously some cleaner for the tip. This is a brass sponge for cleaning my tip. I will use some tin wire like that one and 0.6 uh, millimeter in diameter, so very thin, very thin. And it has also 12% of fluxant inside it in the middle. What is a fluxant? A fluxant is something like I have in this little jar here that is used to to eliminate the oxidation from the components. Sometimes like this one, like that, uh, they, they could have oxidated, okay? Or so the components such as the leg of the capacitor could have been, um, could have been oxidated. So when you solder something, you simply need to use a tin with a fluxant or a little uh, jar with some fluxant, uh, fl fluxant uh, paste inside it. I will use also my other set of ends if needed, like that. Where do I will start? I will start from J1 and U2. <laughs> so I will start from the power connector plus and minus <coughs> and the plus is from the uh, in this case the plus is from where you have the squared ones the squared are plus okay the square are plus or where you have the connection placed okay so here you have the squared one here you have a square here you have a circle the square means positive side it is also written positive here for the square but I will go there and I will know that the positive will be inserted like that okay here and the positive will be the square at one so this will be plus And obviously the other one will be minus negative or ground. And I will go with this one. First of all, I will go with this one. side of the pin, wait for the pin to get hot, then use some little amount of, of tin. And that's all, okay, like that, it is done and connected, okay. Second one, the the stepper down, this little component here, that has no pin down there, that has no pin, this is in and this is out. So I will need to have some pins and I will use some male pins like that, that I will need to connect to the holes in here. So I will need to use one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 4 times 2, a little cutting tool like that.
we need to test this before proceeding because I need 12 volt in and 5 volt out and I need to regulate this potentiometer with 5 volts okay so I will need a way to get in with 5 volts Okay, time to test a multimeter, as you have seen me using many times, set it to 20 DC as voltage. Let me have the AC adapter, like that. Uh, maybe like that good let me test if i have 12 volt here positive and negative 1242 because the ac adapter is always a little more than 12 volt so here you go 1242 here you have 12.42 and the output is 9.42 okay so it is too much it is 9.42 so here is input 12.42 output 9.42 okay I need to regulate this little trimmer this little potentiometer here I miss a little screwdriver. Here I go. Detach here. Let me go plus, minus. I don't know. Let me go this way. I went counterclockwise. I went counterclockwise, it is still 12 volt, yes, it is still 12.42 and here you go 10.37, so you need to go clockwise. Okay, 543, it's not 542, but it's good. So it, you have 1242, that means 12 volts. Here you have 543, that means 5 volts. Okay, so it is regulated. Good. Now, next, next, what I will get there. The components that are under everything, such as the two resistors, the three resistors and the three capacitors there. Resistor, 10 kilo ohms, like that. It is marked there 10 kilo ohms, but you can always test it with resistor. I will switch this to 20 kilo and then test the resistors like that 
it is 9, 10, 10 kilo, 10 kilo. So they are at 10 kilo ohms. I hope you can see them like that. 10 kilo ohms. So they are right at 10 kilo ohms. I will need one, two, and three of them. Those are small resistors, a quarter of a watt, <coughs> but um, they will be more than enough, especially because I will not use the whole sensor for now. Uh, they, they have no plus and minus, no positive and negative. I simply try to place them always with the same colors. And the uh, color advance that you have there, <laughs> it's the coding. Following the colored bands you have there, you can find out what you have uh, here with, if you don't have a multimeter to test them. I will insert one side here and one side there, getting the resistor as flat as possible, like that. Then from the other side, I will go like this and like that so I will enlarge the two uh, the two legs I will go the exact same way with the other one Good. Next component, the next component, the capacitors that will go under the stepper motor there, okay, under everything, and it is marked plus the squared one, minus the rounded one, and minus is right marked there. This is minus there, minus, and the other one is positive. So. The long one, as always, is positive, the other is negative. I will go not full in because I will need to bend those a little. Then I will go this way in order to bend them. Like that. And once again here. like that The three lower components, the six lower components. Now, <clears throat> the sockets, the legs for the uh, ESP32, okay? This is, means that I will use this one, like that, and I will mark where I need to cut I will need to cut there and if you get it wrong it's done
like that. Good. Another one. Okay. So the one is done. I will need also to repeat this. The connectors for the motors Last thing will be the three three pin connectors.
it is done. Let's test it. Okay, uh, I will get DSP32. I will get the three drivers. One with the potentiometer trim towards the up. And three. Let's test it with the motor here, pan, tilt, slide. Let's test them. or not uh, let's adjust the camera a little more like that uh, power to the system power to the system good controller on it blinks Connected blue, this is slide, this is spun. Counterclockwise, clockwise, counterclockwise, this is uh, tilt. Clockwise, clockwise, counterclockwise, clockwise, and the theater works. Now let's test the slide. This is clockwise, this is counterclockwise. Okay, good. So it works. <coughs> now let's have, uh, before getting to the hardest part, the programs, the coding, let's try to clean inside of the brain and have this connected with the other components. Okay. okay, I will have a little of problems working, but here it is what I will need to work on. All those components in here. Okay, let me have them from this side here. So those are the four wires of the sliding motor. Okay, the coupling will be the coupling will be let me bring another piece of tape. So It will be blue slide motor, it will be 
Blue, red, green, and black. Blue, red, green, and black. With the blue one towards the left, if I consider this, this is pan tilt slide here, the blue will need to the left with blue to the left of the connector that's all the pan motor here the pan motor is another type of cable of wire so the pan that is this one the pan motor the colors e the color are Black, green, blue, and red. With black towards the left. Okay. This other one is the slide. that is as the same as equivalent tilt, sorry, not slide, but tilt equivalent with black on the left. Because those two motors here, the pan and tilt, are the same. The big motor there, the big stepper motor behind everything is bigger and it is from another brand. And they will work like this. The brain here, will be inserted in here inside there not fixed because I will need to uh, work and modify maybe the programming on the ESP32 I will need to shorten all the wires okay right now I have one and two wires that will go in, in here that will need to rewiring so i will start by having them and it is not important how i will use these i mean the central one is the gray one and i know that the central one is the gray one i just need to respect the center and if the wiring doesn't work, if I, one day I will need to work this, I simply need to switch the connector uh, upside down, okay? I will use the connectors. Obviously, I don't have some gray, purple and white, but I will go with yellow. I will go with white and I will go, I don't have another color that it is not used, I will go with, with green in this case and I will get those connectors here that are meant to be used in conjunction with this one, okay, like that and inserted inside here. But I will get to that in some moment. So I will go to here. I have some male. This is a female connector that once will go this way like, like this, okay? And it will be, oops, lost it. Let me get another one, a three. Not a two, a three. Okay, so like that one. So this is pan. So I will get this working. And I will start by assembling 
this one. I will get the gray in the middle, so I consider it is white. How they work? You have the connector here, and you have this little tip here that can be that can go like this one inside here and it will remain there okay let me go i will push it until i get a, a click now it is inserted inside there i will go with the white one there so with the little uh, protruding part that is this little part here this little point here that will go inside here until I hear a click click then I have the green one same thing the protruding one towards the hole that I have here because the other side I don't have a hole and I get here and get until I get a click click now this I will test it on the prototype like that it will go inside here and female and male will match like this one and I can remove it by simply getting it out and the wires will remain inside now I need to let, let's first remove the power here because uh, this is a, not a soft wire and I will place the connector later. So the like that and the pan will go let's say here so maybe I will get everything cut in here like that I will open the three wires like that. It's a little <laughs> complex to work in here because it is glued to the pan system so I will have some problems. But now those are more flexible because those are silicone wires and very very flexible. Let me retest. Uh, let's not damage that one. Let's continue work on the on the prototype like that I um, the only difference is this connector here but let's say I will go inside there and then I will need at least It is connected. I will go yes, let's say I will not use all the length. Maybe I will use this length here. Good. Now...
good. And the first one is done. Now, middle is green, so it is green in the middle. Let's have the same as before, green in the middle, a little click. And then a yellow. Like that. And then some blue. This one too is done and it will get inside here and go there. So even this one is good. Okay, now pan, tilt and the slide. The slide will be this one. Blue, red, black and green black
good last one and I will remove everything is the power the power here Now, before proceeding, I will clean the top here of the of the steppers. One, two, and three. Then, then I will go with the dissipators. One, two, and three to be glued like that on top of them like that. The tweezers have disappeared once again. Uh, there. Let's test the battery. Obviously, I will. I cannot test the slide motor because I don't have the belt connected. Let's test if it works. On is on. The controller. Blip, blink, connected. And and I think it works. Let me check the slide. You can hear. that even the slide motor works okay some little wires maybe get there here and there but everything stays inside the main brain there with the dissipators and everything else maybe I can go a little further with these wires here inside 
Ok. But the main purpose is to have the camera in here and there. It works from both sides, down and up. For me, this is back, this is forward. So if I push, I go up. If I go down, I will go down with the camera, having the camera in here. And if I go this way, I will go clockwise. Back, I will go counterclockwise. And then slide left and then slide right. Guys, this is the final step here before getting in front of the PC and showing you the last part. How I quickly, how I coded this, why I choose some decision and other things that maybe, maybe, let, let me just program this with the, let, let me do an experimentation here, uh, an experimentation. Let me experiment right now here with the camera placed here and I will try to explain something. Let me switch off. I will take out the ESP32 because I needed to program it. And let me program it for the PS3 because I tested this with the PS3. I'll be back. Okay, I just reprogrammed the ESP32 with uh, the code for the PS3 controller. I will switch it on and I will connect. Okay, now it is connected. And I don't know if you can see it, but it is moving. Even if I'm not touching anything on the controller, it is moving. Even this one is moving. I don't know if I will be able, but it's going up. And here it is moving also. I can do something to show you. I can go, but it's obvious that it is moving. I will go like that and I will stay here. It is getting away here. It is getting away from my ruler. I can get closer and then you can see that it is getting further away and this has almost gone toward the other side. And the same thing for the for the slide motor. This is commonly what you will find everywhere as programming for such things. In this case for a pan tilt and slide uh, camera slider, in other cases something controlled by PS3 controller or PS4 controller. Every controller has this one that is old, obviously it is uh, not new. I bought it, you know that I bought it uh, second hand, or the, even the new one, the PS4, suffer from something called drifting. What is inside those two little joystick there? Inside there, you'll have a couple of those Alps here. They are joystick, one and two movement, with two potentiometer here. Let me do some recap, match recap. When you want to move something between two points, 
maybe going from here to there, you move x and then y to reach this point. This is the vector, but you move x and y, x and y. This is pure math, pure geometry. So the, this is the same, the same, x and y. It is x and y. If I go in the corner, is a, a sum is between a value of x and a value of y. That's the true leverage. And those are leverage, these are connected to the potentiometer. But it's very hard. They will get, look at how they have moved now, uh, how it moved. <coughs> it's very rare that a joystick, a stick like that, will remain precisely at zero position forever. Once you start playing with the joystick, with the gamepad, it starts, you start using it and you start to go a little more towards the X, a little more towards the Y, and this will, not, will no more have a zero point where you don't have electricity going, not in the X, not in the Y axis. So every code I've seen around never thought about that. Yes, I want a camera, but I want also a system that is reliable. Even if I have the joystick to control it, I need a way to have the fixed position of the camera. This is absolutely awful like that. So the main codes I've seen around are all that way. All that way. Not taking into consideration the drifting. So the dead zone they may have the sticks. I'm not talking about the buttons that are on and off and nothing else. Those sticks are analog sticks and can suffer of that problem due to the fact that you have some Alps inside them, you have some um, some joystick like that one. I'm not talking about the third dimension. It is simulated on every game, the third dimension. It's just a matter of, uh, of two dimension right now, okay? Uh, two and uh, two dimension, nothing more, nothing less. So X and Y. That's why this is not reliable and that's why I hated everyone. I hated everyone who has took a glance into this system. I <laughs> rewrote a part of the code. I rewrote three, four, five parts of the code because it's not possible to have such a thing. If I point the camera with a pan and tilt position, they it need to stay that way. This was the first time I tried to adapt the codes, the, the codes, the library, the library uh, to the system. Impossible. I rewrote it. Let's go to the PC right now. Good guys, uh, I will end this part and the tutorial with this little section here and I will talk about uh, how to program easily explained your ESP32 the brain that controls the system in order to get everything working as good as possible okay so software you will need and i will take my glasses sorry for that <clears throat> you will need first of all six axis pairing two Six axis pairing tool, it is this one here. Six axis pair tool. Unfortunately, it only works on Windows, not on Mac. It's the only software I haven't found a Mac version of this, but it is mandatory to use it, and it also is uh, the only way to know if a controller is fake or not without uh, um, opening it. Why I'm, I'm starting with this? 
I'm starting with this simply because each and single one of the controller here you have the PS3 controller or even the PS4 controller here in order to work in Bluetooth they have a MAC address a Bluetooth MAC address, not a Wi-Fi MAC address, a Bluetooth MAC address that will identify it with the console, with the PlayStation in this case but you need to identify the controller here uh, with the ESP32 you need to tell the ESP32, the brain the MAC address of the controller in order to get connected to it and accept all the inputs uh, it will come uh, they will come from the uh, controller uh, let me start with this little one with the PS4 controller only because I already have here connected the, the wires that will need to be used I will connect the wire here to the port that is used to uh, recharge the, uh, the gamepad it is a mini micro USB and once it is connected, oops, it starts blinking, charging. The, here, the 6-axis pair tool told me that the current master, uh, otherwise um, also known as MAC address, is A0 5A 5A A0 1192. Let me uh, let me wrote it write it like that a zero two points five a five a a zero eleven ninety two okay I will need it in some minutes then once you have your controller, your Mac, the MAC address of your controller you will need another free tool another free software, freeware software that is called Arduino IDE let me go right here this is the main page of Arduino let me go back one step where you can learn whatever you want uh, however you want to use an Arduino but it is also a section called software here it identified that I'm using a, a Windows computer uh, so uh, Microsoft computer but you also have the, uh, the Linux version and the Mac uh, version of the same software you need to download this software why? because it is the only way to program here the ESP32 ok, it is the only way to program it yes, easily program it ok, you need to push inside the ESP32 the code that I will show you so, I will open the Arduino that I have already installed um, among many other things it will open with the last uh, uh, sketch it is called the last sketch I've used by pure chance it is the PS3 version but right now I'm using the PS4 version so let me file open the Arduino version, the sketch version of the PS4 controller here you have OK so I will close this one and I will open this one this is the code to put inside the Arduino inside the Arduino to open it and to program the ESP32 you need to inject this code into 
the ESP32. Uh, I haven't made the libraries that are needed to control everything. They are commonly found everywhere to use uh, as you want, but you need a code to associate them. Those libraries are the PS4 controller in this case. That means that someone have coded every and single one of the buttons and of the stick movement that a PS4 controller, the gamepad, the PS4 gamepad can output when used. it. And uh, for example, uh, square pushed, uh, X pushed, triangle pushed, uh, circle pushed, etc. And the movement of the stick. This is a library. It is at your disposal and you can download it everywhere. Then I also used a fast Excel stepper. That is the library that is used to control the stepper motors through Arduino or in this case through ESP32. They are libraries. So it's like uh, associating uh, something with the movement. Associating, for example, when I push the uh, triangle button, what the motor will do. Very easily explained. And it's the main uh, Arduino is already inside the libraries when you load the, uh, the software itself. Where to place those two libraries, PS4 controller and fast Excel stepper? Arduino works in this case in the documents folder of the um, of the uh, Windows system and even on a Mac system. You see that inside documents of the main user you have Arduino and inside you have the libraries here, okay? So inside documents you will have all the sketch I've use it for this project okay every version I made and inside you will find a, a, a folder called libraries inside this folder you just find three main folder okay that you need to download and put inside your libraries folder it is fast Excel stepper ps3 controller and ps4 controller the ps4 and the ps3 use the same libraries for controlling the motors okay so you will need to download from my github those folders here that will be uploaded in github exactly the same ps4 PS3 and fast Excel stepper. Don't worry if uh, the PS4 uh, library it is not called the PS4 controller like that. In this case, it is a PS4 ESP32. Simply because inside you have the library properties that it stated that this library is called PS4 controller, like the one you have in here so don't worry J simply download those two fold those three folders there fast access stepper ps3 controller host and ps4 esp32 folder that we find on my github and once downloaded you simply need to put them on your documents Arduino libraries okay nothing more nothing less nothing more
nothing less. Then you will need to close the Arduino and reopen the Arduino. Like that. And it obviously it opens with the last uh, sketch I loaded. If you go in there and you this is in Italian but because I have the system in Italian but uh, if you go in the libraries there this is included library you will find among them yes they are here sorry my bad it is PS3 controller host and PS4 controller those are the two li libraries <laughs> Uh, just loaded inside the Arduino IDE, IDE. and the fast Axel stepper 2 okay then this is the code you will need to inject and I will get to the code in just some seconds <coughs> but first you need <coughs> to tell Arduino what microcontroller you are using and especially the USB port that will be needed to uh, to um, to use to be used in this case you have an ESP32 standard board when after loading the libraries you will need to tell Arduino the IDE where to find infos about all the ESP32 boards ever made this because otherwise Arduino will either will not have in this section here okay the ESP32 Arduino boards but will only have the Arduino boards so Arduino Micro, Arduino Nano etc. Those ESP32 Arduino all the ESP32 boards ever made won't be able available so one after having loaded the two libraries and restarted uh, Arduino IDE you will go to file settings this is in postazione it is settings then you will have to load there um, maybe I will go like that okay in this case I will go like uh, that ok and I will restart Arduino like that I will I have switched it to English ok ok now Arduino is in English better like that for everyone you will need to go to file preference or settings like that and here where it is stated additional boards manager URLS you need to go and paste this exact same string there that you have here this one here all the ESP32 boards or microcontroller are made by expressive okay so it will tell Arduino where to get all the infos concerning the ESP32 boards so copy this little uh, URL link there and then get OK OK, then click on the OK. Once you have clicked on the OK, you will go to Tools. OK, then 
board here, the first here, then boards manager. Then once in board, boards manager, you will search for ESP32. And in this case, <coughs> you will select the latest version. Okay, in my case, I have 1.04, but don't worry. You can use 1.6. I haven't updated this because they update this very frequently. But if you want to use the same I, I use it, uh, you can choose 1.4. Right now, I have already installed it, otherwise you will choose 1.4 and then click on install. Without the URL we have put inside here, inside the preferences, this wouldn't have appeared. So, in this case, once it is installed, okay, here in the tools, boards, you will not only see Arduino boards and all the Arduino boards that can be handled by this Arduino IDE, IDE but also the SP32 boards and there are plenty of them because they are so powerful much more powerful than the Arduino boards in my case and uh, you may choose the same i have uh, a version of it that is a uh, um, type c uh, kit okay it is a board like this one but simply choose esp32 dev module uh, otherwise you will go with the other ones that uh, are listed here and you will see also an ESP32 dev kit okay like this one dev kit C or dev kit 1 do it ESP dev kit V1 uh, but simply use an ESP32 dev module choose this as the board to be programmed okay ESP32 then you will choose the speed maximum speed possible 921,600 baud b a u d baud or baud the frequency the highest frequency possible the flash it is 80 flash mode q q i o flash size 4 megabytes partition those are the default you simply need to select everything and then the port so very easy load the, the URL uh, get the boards installed then choose the SP32 dev module then connect like this the ESP32 module to the computer it the light get uh, on the red LED get on and here on the ports you will need to restart the Arduino You will need to restart the Arduino like that. You will see that COM6 has appeared here and then it is selected. So in my case I'm using USB port that is named the COM6 on my computer. And then and then simply click on this little arrow here that means upload as you can see upload please also look at this section here down below where everything is stated so I, I click on upload here the Arduino either is compiling the sketch is compressing and compiling the sketch once it has ended compiling the sketch 
it will upload the sketch, the, this little program, into the, R the ESP32 board. It will take some seconds. Right now, it has started connecting and it has started the programming. It is at 39%, 57, 68, 93, 100%. Stop, finished. Now, the Arduino, the, the ESP32 has the code inside it to work with the PS4 controller my PS4 controller let, let me try let me try to use it and I will explain part of the code here you can connect it flashes it is connected as before obviously you don't have the system connected but let me open the monitor here you see that already it is stating that the two sticks are working are getting some inputs and if I move the sticks you will see that the values are increasing or decreasing same thing for the X for the left and the right so I will press the square now I will press and repress the square so it is working now the Arduino has programmed the ESP32 with all the code needed to make the system work not that easy I know if you haven't already uh, seen Arduino and how to program but it's nothing else than programming a sketch. Uh, let me go in detail very quickly and I always comment every section of what I wrote or what I program. It is absolutely absolutely long let me go with uh, with notepad plus plus as always and let me go with a new one it has 1119 lines of programming code like that with all the comments and everything else maybe let me go with this because it is bigger and it is more suitable. I, I simply copied what I have in the Arduino and put here inside my uh, notepad plus plus. So here I always comment with the start and end some section. So here I add the libraries needed by the code and those are the libraries needed. So PS4 controller main and then fast Excel stepper. I, I told you to upload in the libraries folder those are already included inside the ps4 and inside arduino so no way no matter no, don't worry to upload them then these are the variables i will define these are the variable defined so for all the pan motor step in the pan motor direction the tilt motor the slide motor and then the motor that uh, w w mm, this is to, to tell the drivers what are the pins to be used to control the motors they are ms1 and ms2 the pin number five the pin number 17 don't worry then this is very important this is where you will uh, manipulate and you will change the value of the speed of the three motors okay here the pan motor is as the speed 2500 the tilt half the speed because it is way more precise to uh, it is way, way more important to precisely define the tilt position and then the exaggerate max speed of the sliding and it is important to set always the same value for the acceleration 
otherwise it won't work the three motors needed to have the same acceleration factor they can have different uh, speed maximum speed but it is important they have the same acceleration factor then I stated here in this part here all the variables needed I will use them I had used them to avoid the drifting problems I you have just seen uh, in my final words when I was still assembling the brain those are the dead zone values for left x x left y r x and r y the zones around the center of the joystick where the cro the program will not consider it as moving okay so it's like having a big circle around the stick around the main position the zero position that it's not taken in consideration by the program if the stick is in that position in that circle around the zero position don't even consider it as moving because i am not pressing my thumbs on them this is the solution to avoid the system uh, moving the motors due to the drifting effort when you don't <laughs> when you are not pushing any buttons or any or moving the sticks of your controller then this is the plus and minus of uh, the values of the stick in this case i have 128 for the ps4 it is 127 for the uh, ps3 uh, dual shock analog stick but it is uh, uh, the same thing then here starts the real code with all the movements all the variation i have inserted i will not go line by line but only comment this is the main values i will use the stick values for the movements and then all the other movements i will use are the four colored buttons so the square the x the circle and the triangle then I commented here main difference with PS3 code uh, that the both buttons are no more analog if you analyze my PS3 version of this um, of this code you will see that before data um, uh, no, not before data but uh, yes before that uh, you have analog data button up analog data here you don't have any more the analog values because all the buttons for the ps4 controller are digital okay no more analogic as they were in ps3 controller and here are the possible cases i uh, will use so I have a 15 buttons of 15 combinations uh, from mm, pad up, pad down, left, right, cross, square, triangle, circle, then L1, R1, L3, R3, select, L2, R2, and then the sticks, the, the X and Y of the two sticks, the left and the right values. Then some other <coughs> con uh, con code that is needed to get whatever to associate whatever variation of the buttons or of the sticks with an acceleration of the or the, or the deceleration of the motors like in this case blah 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 then uh, once I here it is important because it is where it starts the movement where it starts to get when when i push the button the button begin doing something each time i push a button 
or I use the stick in this case here. Here I stated, very important put here the MAC address of the controllers found with 6 axis pair tool. Here, you remember this code here, A05, A5, A, A0, That is the PS4 controller MAC address. I inserted here the same code and your controller your PS4 controller, in this case, or PS3 controller, if you are using the other code, uh, will have other values of this MAC address. Simply copy and paste these two, four, six values here in this point here. Replace this section here with the MAC address. Very important, and I've isolated it like that in the code. This will mean that you're making your system work or not. Then it is here I'm, uh, I, I have the code for the uh, max speed and for the acceleration factors or acceleration, this deceleration, max speed and minimum speed. Then here I've used those dead zone there. I will not explain why I use a double two times uh, that zone in there simply because uh, uh, one of the two sticks control with X and Y the system. If I go with the both controller having with both movement X and Y for the pan and tilt movement with the same exact uh, input that zone, it will not work. So I have to I had to differentiate uh, uh, left Y and left X with different uh, dead zones. Uh, if I'm using the stick to control the pan motor they will have a certain value of pan motor is controlled by x so the dead zone is 120 and the dead zone for the um, for the tilt motor is 400 so way 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 high value in order to avoid to move the uh, tilt motor while i'm posing i'm uh, getting to position the pan motor and for the tilt motor it is the opposite so uh, this is uh, you have uh, this is uh, the max this is the opposite okay and for the tilt motor it is the opposite you go 400 for uh, ly and lx so it, it works the same way but you don't need to use this for the r section because it only control the speed uh, the speed of the sliding mechanism okay so it is stated that you have also a dead zone with the R joystick, the right joystick, the right stick, but not double as with the left stick because the right stick only controls the sliding motor, the slide motor. And the code will end here. I will not get into <laughs> details of the code. Maybe you will, if you are interested, you can analyze it, uh, read it, and then ask me some question if you want. And then that was the last very important uh, thing uh, I, I tried to explain. So here I have the shoulder buttons used to control the speed factor, so the acceleration and the speed. The um, the left one and the right one are used to control those are left one and the right one are used to control the speed and uh, right two and left two used to control the acceleration of the motors 
all the acceleration together. You cannot split the acceleration from for from one motor, and uh, you can you can't have the acceleration of one motor different from the acceleration of another motor. So spin, tilt, and slide have the same acceleration factor, not the same speed, but the same acceleration. If I start with uh, here on top the um, the speed uh, that the max speed of the slide motor and the system when you switch it on it always start from the max speed possible because I stated them there so and if I decrease by half pushing the R1 button the right no, no, sorry, the left one button, this button here, the left one button that will decrease by half each time the speed, uh, you will notice that at a quarter of this speed, the tilt motor will go very, very slow. So 300, okay? It is, a, it, they are expressed in uh, step because the motor the stepper motor working in step and then acceleration deceleration um, speed and anything else and also uh, the joystick uh, the stick are are controlling if the motors need to go clockwise or counter con counter clockwise so forward or backward and this is all the explanation you, you the only explanation so you will get from me right now for this program here so six axis pairing tool the libraries you needed to download and upload inside then the url to get uh, the arduino either uh, aware that you have also other boards uh, uh, and not just Arduino boards then choose here the board as ESP32 and then everything else you need to be to leave that as a standard except for the upload speed that must be the highest possible but if you want you can use my settings here and obviously your COM port will be different as my COM port and that's all all those files will be available uh, at the end of my github that i've already stated for part one and part uh, two let me get once again with the main camera there like that and like that okay and uh, uh, that's all guys that's really all let me just do a quick outro for this full tutorial this will be the last outro for this three part tutorial see you in just some seconds if you forget for a moment words such as electronics and code programming this project here this camera slider is far from being complicated you just need to follow some easy steps and the programming is like your computer you simply need to switch it on and windows or ios is already there for you this is the same thing the programming will be there for you you just need to push into the sp32 a code like putting a an old DVD on your computer or like uh, charging something from uh, USB thumb or like downloading some new software and install it. Nothing very complicated. You just need a little bit of skill with uh, a soldering iron and then follow the steps. <laughs> Don't get mad at me. I know that this was far, 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 far from being the usual uh, content you are used to see in, on this channel but this guy is absolutely silent and it works perfectly 
uh, the whole project, the, this three-part project, I know I've scared a lot of people and it's not of interest of many of you, but believe me, it will improve 100%, 1000% your filming technique. Next time, I will be doing something more usual for this channel. For now, please don't forget to subscribe, comment and give big thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Thank you for bearing my absolutely awful English and see you next time if I haven't bored you too much. Bye guys.